Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can fix this error. The error that you get on Android devices while trying to sign in to your Google account. So the error that you get is uh, could not sign in. Uh, there was a problem communicating with Google servers. Uh, try again later. Okay, so I'm getting this error uh, when I go to settings and uh, accounts over here and uh, if I tap on add account and then Google as you can see it's checking info and I'm getting this error there was a problem communicating with Google servers try again later okay guys so how I can you know fix this so I'm gonna show you you know couple of methods and you can try that out okay so let me try this you know method one so method one we have is you have to simply restart your phone and try to add or sign into your Google account okay so uh, let me pause this video and uh, let me restart my phone and uh, I would come back okay okay guys I'm back and I restarted my phone and let me try to add it again so go to settings and find here accounts okay so just tap on accounts uh, and then tap on add account and then tap on Google As you can see it's checking info okay guys so okay okay guys as you can see uh, you know the error has been fixed so let me enter my email over here and then tap on you know next as you can see guys I already you know added my you know this Google account over here so I will not do that again I already you know have this account so let me show you the accounts and if I tap on Google okay so I already you know have this account added so that's why it was giving me an error but uh, you can you know try to add it uh, your Google account and try to sign it okay okay guys so uh, you tried this method one and suppose if this you know doesn't fix this your issue okay so guys you have to try this you know method two so in method two you have to disable uh, two-step authentication if you have enabled it okay so in order to do that uh, you have to open the you know uh, web browser on your on your phone or if you can open on PC then you can do it as well okay guys and you need to go to this you know myaccount.google.com this website okay over here so you have to go to this uh, URL and you need to scroll a little bit over here and find here sign in so let me check it where is that Okay. okay so I am already you know signed into my you know, Google account and uh, you need to sign in to yours so and here you need to uh, find this sign in and security okay so just tap on this 
sign in and security okay guys and after that you need to uh, come to over here two step verification okay so just tap over here okay so let me provide my password over here again and tap on the sign in button over here okay guys so in here uh, you can you know as you can see two step verification is enabled uh, for your account okay so I need to disable it okay guys so let me you know, tap over here remind me later okay guys so I am on this page so you have to come to this right and you can see uh, two-step verification is on and you can turn it off by tapping over here okay so just tap on turn off button over here and you get this pop-up so just you know tap on turn off so if I come over here you can see that two-step verification is off okay guys and uh, after that uh, you need to clear the cache and data of Google account manager Google Play Store Google Play services Google services framework okay so on, on some devices you don't see Google services framework so no problem you can just clear the data of you know other Google apps like Google account manager Google Play Store and Google Play services okay guys so let me show you how you can do that so you have to go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here apps or application manager so i have apps over here just tap on it and uh, here you need to swipe to the right to all tabs over here and uh, find here a google account manager so let me find that okay so here i have google account manager so just tap on it and guys here you need to clear the data of it Okay, clear the data as well as clear the cache I already did so I don't have this you know option that is you know grayed out you can clear the data and clear the cache of it. okay guys and after that you need to go back and find here Google Play Store okay so just tap on this and uh, just tap on clear data and then tap on okay and you need to you know go back and find here uh, Google Play services okay so just tap on it and then tap on manage space and then tap on clear all data and then tap on ok and guys you need to go back and find here Google services framework okay on some devices uh, you don't have but if you have it then you have to clear the cache and data as well of it okay so just tap on this and then tap on clear data and then tap on okay okay guys and uh, after that uh, you need to go to the settings and then account you can add you know add account and just you know add your uh, you know Google account and try to sign it okay all right guys so just try this method too and uh, and suppose guys uh, if this you know method 2 doesn't work for you then you can try this uh, method 3 okay so you have to install the latest Google Play services for your device from epkmail.com okay so first of all you have to you know check unknown sources so you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here security so here I have security just tap over here and here you need to tap on this unknown sources allow installation of apps from unknown sources so I already have enabled it so you have to enable it okay so let me show you how to enable it so just tap over here and then tap on ok so it's now enabled 
okay guys so after that uh, you need to go to apkminute.com and do a search for google play services okay so just open your browser i am using google chrome and in you know address bar you need to type this apkminute.com okay pkmirror.com and open this website and guys here you need to you know search for google play services okay Okay, Google Play services and just search for it as you can see guys we have here you know Google Play services so just you know tap on the first one we have 23 variants of it so this one is the latest one so just tap on this so it's now opening all right guys so as you can see that we have here you know the notes okay so you have to uh, read it okay to figure out the right version of google play services for your android device you have to go to the settings apps google play services and look at the last three numbers of the you know parenthesis you will see something like x y z some okay so x defines the android version and you get this you know 0 2 4 7 8 and y defines the cpu architecture okay guys so here you can you know make a note of it z defines the dpi Okay guys so here uh, you have the information note uh, it seems that 7 by you know, jet bills became this you know you can read it out and uh, find the right version of you know google play services okay and after that uh, as you can see over here we have here for 2.3 plus 2.3 plus the architecture the dpi okay so you can easily you know find it over here for your devices okay so you just need to you know download it depending on your device from here they have it also for android 6.0 plus marshmallow lollipop okay so just you know figure it out okay by using this you know tutorials over here okay bye right, guys and uh and after that you need to go to the settings and then you know account and add account and then you have to you know just open the google and uh, try to sign in to your google account okay guys so just try this method three and let's see if this you know fixes your issue okay 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 guys so suppose that if you know method three also doesn't work for you uh, then you can uh, try this method for and this uh, would only work for rooted phones okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings security and you have to you know check unknown sources we already did that you can do that very easily okay so let me show you again how you can do that very easily security and just check it and also says okay okay guys so and after that you need to open your browser and go to apkminute.com and do a search for es file explorer and download it and install it okay so i already showed you how you can go to apkminute.com and do a search so just do a search for es file explorer and download it and install it it's really very simple okay okay guys so i already uh, have my you know es file explorer installed so he here i have 
okay so just uh, after you install it just open it so let me open it well, guys so you will see you know the interface like this okay and just tap on this in order to bring the menu and uh, here uh, you need to you know go to this in you know, tools and you have to enable the you know root explorer okay so just tap over here in order to enable the root explorer okay remember my choice allow it okay no problem okay guys so and after that you need to you know tap on this you know a local and just go to the you know the device over here okay okay the device root and then system so let me find where is the system so here i have just tap on the system and uh, etc you have to go to the etc folder so here i have etc folder just tap on it and and press the host file okay so here you need to find the host file so let me find that so here i have the host file okay so you know just tap on it and you get this pop-up so just tap on text and open with es note editor okay well guys so here you need to remove everything okay here you need to you know as you can see we have here a tutorial it is everything there and type the following 127.01. sorry 127.0.0.1 local host okay so you have to remove everything from here okay And you have to type this 127.0.0.1 space localhost localhost. Okay, so you have to type exactly like this 127.0.0.1 space localhost. Okay, guys, and uh, after that uh, you need to save this you know file over here go back and do you want to save hosts yes just tap on it as you can see it's in your save okay guys and just you know go back and and guys after that uh, once done uh, you need to go to the settings account okay need to go to the you know the settings count over here counts over here I have just tap on it and uh, and then add account and then you have to tap on you know Google and just you know try to sign into your you know google account and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay so i'm not gonna do that because i already did okay guys so uh you know try these you know methods and let me know in the comment section whether uh, whether it fixes your issue or not so uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other tutorials uh, bye bye take care